Hi, kamusta? This is your Emma, a public school science teacher. In this video, we will discuss about climbing. Now, this is based on the 16th most essential learning competency in Science 9, which is explain how different factors affect the climate of an area. Specifically, at the end of this lesson, you're expected to define climate, differentiate climate from weather, and identify and explain the factors affecting the climate of an area. Let's begin. Okay. I want you to describe the weather today. Sige nga, paano yung describe yung weather ngayon dyan sa inyong lugar? Sige, pwede nyo sabihin o pwede isulat sa inyong scratch paper. Okay. Now, you probably have answered any of this. So, sige, yung ilang nagsabi sa inyo, Sir, it's uh, sunny today or it's hot today. Mainit. Mataas ang sikat ng araw ngayon. O siguro sabi ng iba, depende sa lugar, it's cloudy today, sir. Ano, so, pwede rin yun. Or, siguro sa iba, hindi ganun kataas ang sikat ng araw, but it's humid, ma-alinsanan. Well, lahat naman ay tama yung mga ayon. There are various ways by which we can describe the weather of a place. Ano, at nagbabago-bago yun, depende sa kung nasaan ang isa. In your previous grade level, you have discussed the different weather systems such as the Intertropical Convergence Zone or the ITCZ, as well as the monsoons, yung Habagat at uh, Amihan, as well as uh, Typhoon. Ano, now, in this video, we will discuss a concept that peop some people thought to be similar or same with weather, but actually pertain to a different concept, and that is climate. Okay? Now, bago tayo magpunta doon sa discussion ng climate, let's first have a review of what weather is. Ano ba yung tinutukoy natin na weather? Yung dinescribe nyo kanina. So basically, when we speak of weather, it pertains to the day-to-day -day state or condition of the atmosphere in a specific place. So short-term variation or changes in the atmosphere uh, within minutes to hours or days. Ano? So yung condition na yan, tinutukoy dyan na maaaring magbago would be the temperature, the humidity, winds, cloudiness, and prospects of rain. Ano pa ibang mga indicators? Okay? So yung tinutukoy natin na weather. Now, kung meron kayong weather app sa inyong mga smartphone, pwede nyo buksan yan. Ano? Now, sa akin, pag binuksan, ito yung makikita nyo. Ano? So pwede kayong malagay dyan ng mga specific na lugar ano? para malaman nyo ano yung weather sa lugar na yun. So, ito, uh, Siyempre, dito sa atin sa San Pablo. Okay? So, 9.51 nung na-screenshot ko to. So, you'll see here the different measures or indicators of weather. Ano, uh, the temperature at that particular time is 31 degrees. Okay? And then, you'll see other details such as uh, chance of rain, wind, precipitation, visibility, humidity, and all those other indicators. So, yung tinutukoy na weather condition ng atmosphere dun sa instance na yun at 9.51. Okay? Sabi natin, this is short-term condition. Pwedeng magbago. After an hour, kapag buksan ko itong app na to, may ilang details dyan ay pwedeng magbago. Halimbawa, sa taas, makikita nyo na yung projection ng temperature at 10 a.m. pareho pa rin, pero at 11, mas, mas iinit. Ano? Hanggang tataas pa ang alauna and then bababa ulit sa hapon. Ano? So, it can vary within minutes to hours or days. It's basically what we refer to as the weather. Now, papaano na iiba yung uh, climate sa weather? Okay, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon yung climate. So, what is climate? Climate pertains to the weather of a place averaged. Now, take note, ano, averaged over a period of time. This is over seasons, years, or even decades. Ano? So, ito yung um, average pala ng weather na nararanasan ng isang lugar sa loob ng mahabang panahon. Ano, average usually uh, within 30 years. Ano yung nararanasan doon? So, it's the average averages of those measures that I've mentioned a while ago. Ano na ba yung nararanasan ng lugar na yon sa nakalipas ng mga nakaraang taon? Ano yung usual na nararanasan doon na weather? That is what we refer to as climate. So, kapag weather, condition atmosphere sa instance na yon sa oras na yon ano, pag naman climate, Ano yung usual na nararanasan na sa lugar na yon over the years kaysa matagal na panahon? Halimbawa, sino nakakaalam kung saan lugar ito? Okay, this is definitely in Baguio here in the Philippines. How would we describe the climate here? So, the climate here, it, it usually experiences a cool or mild climate. 
ano, mababa yung temperature throughout the year. Dito ay malamig. Now, usually, with lowest temperature between November to February. Kaya maganda magpunta rito, pumasyal, pag yan, mga Christmas season, ano, pagkatapos noon, talagang malamig. And um, with regards to this place, it uh, receives less precipitation during dry season and extraordinary amount of precipitation during rainy season. Average temperature of one ano, na malamig, that's nag-average sa 18 degrees. Kapag naman yung tag-init, around 21 degrees. Ano, so over the years, yung mga nakalipas na mga taon, ito yung nararanasan dito sa Baguio. Okay? Another example would be here. Saan ba ito? Munisipyo ito. Uh, you have Intramuros and then Rizal Park. This is in Manila, Philippines. As compared with Baguio, ano mo nasabi nyo sa climate naman dito? So, this experience is high temperature. Mainit naman dito compared dun sa Baguio, which varies from 22 degrees in January and 34 degrees in May. Okay? So, ito yung usual na nananasan na weather sa lugar na ito. Okay? So, uh, to sum it up, when you speak of climate, that is what we expect ano, to experience. Yung condition atmosphere na in-expect mo na ma-experience. Kasi yun yung nananasan in the past years. Whereas you speak of weather, that is what you actually get. Or that is what actually happens. Ano, at that particular time, at that particular place. Ano, at pwede siyang mabago-bago within minutes to hours or days. Okay? So basically, that's the difference between climate and weather. Now, what about in the Philippines? What climate do we experience in general? According to the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA, which by the way is the national institution that is dedicated to provide flood and typhoon warnings and public weather forecasts and advisories, the climate in the country in general is tropical and maritime. Well, that means that it is characterized by relatively high temperature, at asa temperature, ano, high humidity, so uh, maalinsangan, but abundant rainfall since we are surrounded with bodies of water. Now, this uh, climate that we experience in the country is actually similar with uh, the climate experienced by countries in Central America, in mga Guatemala, in mga katabi ng mga countries na yan. Ganon din yung nararasa nila climate similar with the climate in the Philippines. Now, um, there are actually four climate types. Yun yung in general, ano, pero nalidivide pa yan into four types uh, depending on the distribution of rainfall in the country. So, as you can see on the map, yung tatlong iba't ibang mga kulay na makikita sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas, that represents those four types of climate. I don't know, if you know, if you want to know more about this, you can uh, search this online and do your readings ano, para mas malaman yung iba't ibang climate na naranasan sa ating bansa. Okay? Now, as you can see, with the examples that we have shown and even with this, different places have different climate. Ano, even places which are found within the same country may have different or may experience different climate. Now, what is the reason behind that? Bakit nagkakaiba iba That is the next thing that we will discuss. Let us have the factors affecting the climate of an area. We actually have here five. First is latitude. Second, altitude. Third, distance from large bodies of water. Fourth, topography. And fifth, ocean current. So let's have them one by one. Starting off with the first one, latitude. So what do we mean by latitude? So latitude is actually the angular distance of a place uh, north or south of the Earth's equator. Okay. So basically, here's your equator. This is the imaginary line that divides the Earth into two equal parts the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Basically, the latitude tells us how far north or how far south a place is from the equator. Ano, yan yung mga values that range from 0 to 90 degrees north or 0 to 90 degrees south. Ano, so, this are the, uh, this is what we refer to as latitude. So, paano ba nakaka-apekto yung latitude sa climate ng isang lugar? Well, the closer the place is to the equator, the warmer is the climate. Whereas, the farther the place is from the equator, the colder is the climate. So, what is the reason behind this? Bakit daw kapag ang isang lugar ay mas malapit sa equator, sa gitna, ay mas mainit. Kapag naman mas malayo sa equator, sa taas man o sa baba, ay mas malamig. Well, I want to take a look at this illustration. 
As you can see here, um, sunlight strikes directly or almost vertically to the places near the equator. So dahil direct yung kanyang pagtama sa mga lugar na to, as you can see, focused yung sunlight doon. Kaya naman, tumataas ang temperature sa mga lugar na to, resulting to warmer climate. On the other hand, pagtingin natin yung mga nasa taas naman, because of the tilt of the planet, nakahilig siya, and as well as the shape, hindi na direct yung pagtama ng sunlight sa mga lugar na yon. As you can see, dito mas focus, dito mas paslant na, mas malaki yung area. That is why yung temperature naman sa mga lugar na to ay hindi naging ganun kataas, resulting to much colder uh, climate. Okay? Sa, sa mas mataas pa, mas spread out na yung sunlight, so hindi na siya ganun ka-focus, mas mababa din yung temperature, resulting to much colder climate. Okay? So that's the reason behind this. So latitude basically tells us the how far north or south a place is. Ang uh, atin lang rule dito, kapag malapit sa equator, mas mainit ang climate. Mas malayo sa equator, mas malamig naman ang climate. Ano na napansin nyo? Tayo, Philippines, we are near the equator, kaya mainit. Pero yung mga bansa naman halimbawa na mas nasa taas ng equator, yung mga China, Japan, South Korea, malalamig. Kaya nagsusnow. Uh, yung mga nasa baba, pero malayo pa rin sa equator, yung mga New Zealand, Australia, malamig din yung kanilang temperature doon. So that's the first uh, factor, latitude. The next factor is what we call altitude. And also, well, altitude is the height of an object or point in relation to sea level or ground level. So, in other terms, this is the elevation. Gaano ba ka kataas ang isang lugar mula sa sea level? Ano yung nangyari dito? The air temperature decreases as the altitude increases. So, basically, habang tumataas ang isang lugar, mas bumababa ang kanyang air temperature, resulting to uh, milder or colder climate. Mas bababa naman ang isang lugar o mas malapit siya sa sea level or sa ground, ground level, mas mataas naman ang air temperature resulting to warmer climate. So what is the reason behind this? Well, the, the decrease in air temperature is due, due to the decrease in air pressure. Kapag mas mataas, mas layo-layo uh, yung mga air particles, mas hindi natatrap ang init, mas nagiging malamig. Pag naman nasa baba, mas magkakalapit yung air particles, mas mataas ang pressure, mas madali ding maabsorb yung init, resulting to uh, warmer climate. So, altitude, mas mataas ang isang lugar, mas malamig. Mas mababa ang isang lugar, mas mainit. Examples of this would be the Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, East Africa. So, this is near the equator. Mainit. Ano? Doon sa lugar na yun. But in this Mount Kilimanjaro, yung taas, makikita nyo covered with ice. So kahit oo, latitude, mainit dun sa lugar na yon but dahil yun naman top ng mountain ay it has high altitude, mat mataas yung elevation niya, malayo from sea level, kaya mababa naman yung temperature dun sa taas. Possible na magkaroon ng mga uh, ice na yan. Sa Baguio, ano, sa Philippines, alam natin, in general, mainit. Pero bakit malamig doon? Kasi mataas yung lugar na yun. ano That is, um, yung Baguio, that's about 1,435 above sea level. Yung mga nagma-mountain climbing, ano, bakit sila nagsusot ang mga kapal na jacket at mga damit? Kasi pag taas mo dun, uh, lumalami ang temperature. Okay? So, the second uh, factor. Let's have this time the third factor. We have what we call distance from large bodies of water. So, ano nagagawa naman itong mga large bodies of water na to? So, basically, the bodies of water help regulate the climate of an area. Okay, nare-regulate ng mga bodies of water, ito bawa ay sea o kaya ay mga lake, yung climate sa mga lugar na malapit sa kanya. Well, places that are near the oceans or bodies of water have moderate climate. Whereas places that are far from bodies of water have extreme climates. Ano? So halimbawa, uh, during summer, areas that are near bodies of water will have moderate temperature. Because basically, these bodies of water will absorb more heat. During winter naman, surrounding water slowly releases heat causing the cooling effect to become lesser than the normal in the, nor in the nearby land masses. So hindi, since nag-release siya ng heat, hindi nagiging ganun kalamig dun sa mga areas na malapit sa kanila. Okay? So very important is the presence of these large bodies of water. Let's have this time the fourth factor. We have what we call topography. Okay? So topography uh, pertains to the... Uh, details of a particular area or ge the geographical contours 
or features of the land. It includes yung mga hills, valleys, lakes, or even roads. Ano? Now, one topographical feature that affects the climate of an area would be the presence of mountains. Ano? Mountainous areas greatly affect the amount of precipitation in a certain region. Paano yun? Ano? So, the presence of this um, topographical feature such as mountain results in the formation of these two regions the windward side or the wet side and the leeward side or the dry side okay so here in the windward side this is blocked by the mountain so this forces your um air to move upward now as it moves upward the water vapor condenses uh, no, turns into gas form and forms your cloud okay this results in the precipitation in the windward side that's why you have here a lot of vegetation i know mga halaman, mga puno. Now, the air moves down towards the leeward side. Ano, dito naman sa kabila. Now, the cold air um, starts to absorb the heat and becomes warm and dry. As a result, the area near the leeward side becomes dry and has less precipitation. Okay? Let's have this time, the last uh, factor, we have what we call ocean current. So basically, when we speak of ocean current, this is the movement of water from one location to another which is driven by wind, water, density differences, and tides. Now, ocean currents affect the temperature of the nearby landmass. Napektuhan niya yung tem air temperature dun sa mga dinadaanan nitong current na ito ng mga landmasses. So, ano nangyayari? So, what happens is that, um, di ba sabi natin, near the equator, mas mataas ang temperature. Mas malayo sa equator, mas mababa ang temperature. Mas malamig ang kanilang climate. So, yung mga ocean current that flow away from the equator, it carries with it warm water. So, syempre, kung warm yung water na yun, the air above it would also be warm. So, pag move noong water na yun to the different places kung saan man siya dumadaan, kasakasama niya yung warm air. Syempre, mapupunta yung warm air na yun doon sa mga land masses, increasing the temperature in those areas, resulting to warmer climate. Now, kabalik tara naman. Kapag naman ang isang uh, ocean current ay galing sa place na malayo sa equator, malamig naman yung daladala ng tubig. So, syempre, yung, yung, yung hangin na nasa taas naman ng tubig na yun, mababa yung temperature. At yun naman ang mapunta na hangin dun sa mga land masses na dadaan nila. So, resulting to the decrease in the temperature in those land masses, resulting to colder or milder climate. Example of this, your Kuroshiyo um, current dumadaan dito sa eastern part ng Philippines. Ano, so, dahil galing siya sa equator, anong daladala niya? Mainit na tubig. So, nasa taas na may tubig na yun would be yung mainit na hangin. Resulting to warmer climate dito sa southern part ng Japan. Okay? Ito namang West Australian current. So, ito ang equator, galing naman siya dun sa baba. So, ang daladala niya ay malamig na tubig. So, sa taas na malamig na tubig na yan, malamig na hangin naman. So, yung mga dadaanan yung land masses, yung mga area na yan, makapunta doon yung malamig na hangin. Okay? So, resulting to decreasing the temperature in those land masses, resulting to colder climate. Halimbawa, dun sa Singapore, somewhere here, uh, that's, that's actually one reason kung bakit nakaka-experience yun ng mas malamig na klima or temperature. Okay? So, definitely, this ocean current affects the climate of the land masses na dinadaan. Okay? So, so far, we were able to discuss the different factors affecting the climate of an area. We have latitude, altitude, distance from large bodies of water, topography, and ocean currents.